Hello, my friends. Today I want to share with you a prophecy that um, a lady friend had. Um, it kind of came to mind recently, and as I was thinking about it, um, one of the things that I've seen, it kind of brought it to my mind, and I was like, whoa, yes, this is a good thing to share with everyone, just in case you haven't heard of it, because it's an older prophecy, but it's a very prophecy that hasn't came through, but will possibly soon. So, um, and I do want to share um, also a study that they did in uh, one of the colleges here in America, which kind of was, I guess, brought everything to me, like in a bigger picture. I was like, whoa, this is all comes together and just amazing. Uh, first, I want to um, share one little thing that I heard. Um, there was a prophetic word in one church they prayed, and there was a prophetic word about uh, a time is coming when before going shopping for any groceries, you do need to pray uh, because um, everything you may eat, you need to pray and bring before God. A uh, time is coming that food will not be um, beneficial as it is right now. It, w it may have poison in it. So when they, heard that w when they heard that prophecy, they were like, oh, wow, a time is coming that certain certain foods in our grocery store may not be as um, eatable, I guess. So, and I'm not sure when it will start or when it will happen, but I, I'm thinking as a Christian, we should really pray before we buy anything. This is, would be a good practice to learn and start doing. And hopefully God will tell you what's a good thing to eat and what's not a good thing to eat. Um, so I was watching a video recently by a man who has did an experiment. He kind of did a, a little experiment on himself and he did not eat anything for seven days. Um, he was just, he wanted to see if it was true because he heard some things and he wanted to see if it's true. So every day he um, sat down at the table uh, with the empty plate and he was telling himself like imagining that he was eating a lot of delicious foods even though in true life he wasn't eating anything and he did this for seven days for seven days he kept saying to himself wow i'm eating this delicious meal it's so delicious so beneficial so yummy but in truly he was not eating anything and in seven days he did not lose a single pound and he was still very like strong, healthy, and did not have any symptoms that he was not eating for seven days. So wh when I heard that video, I was like, wow, it reminded me of that prophecy that lady had. And I wanted to share it with you today. Uh, this will be a good prophecy to remind yourself when things get hard in life. And it will be a beneficial for any Christian to know this. Um, it may save you uh, when things are very, very bad. Um, so basically, what this was a prophecy back in 1985. A prophecy stated, a great famine is coming to the whole earth. People will walk around black from hunger. But my people will have bright faces. They will boil some water and they will eat water with a spoon. Imagine that. And, and they will get full. The faces of my people will be bright, but only my true people. So this was a prophecy back in 85. I, she shared it a while back, and I, I've seen it a long time ago. <clears throat> but it came to mind recently, and I wanted to share with everyone. When things happen, and you have no food to eat, know that God will 
provide nourishment, his vitamins, his minerals in just plain boiled water. Um, how? It's going to be a miracle. It will be mir miraculous. It will be amazing. And God has said that. That's a prophetic word. So I know we, a lot of people are preparing for hard, for hard times. Um, but when things happen and you are in a position when you can't eat anything and you won't be able to have food, remember this word because this may save your life and the life of your family. Um, and also, I wanted to share with you a study they did in some college recently. Um, they called, I, uh, I can't remember how many people there were, but there were a lot of people who came for a study. They were just doing like a little thing. It was a while back, not recently. But they paid everybody like $600 or $800, I can't remember. But they were just kind of trying to see, they, everybody filled out a form. Like, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you depressed? Are you happy? And, and then everybody got um, a drop of flu into their no nostril. And they were all on their way. And, and then in a few days, um, they, I guess, got back to them. And each person who was depressed, unhappy, or having just really hard, like, like very hard time in life, they all got sick. But people who said on their forms, I'm happy, I'm very upbeat, I'm very um, a good thing, everything is happening good in my life, they did not get sick. So the study was kind of showing, um, like, you know, if you are very scared, if you are um, sad, depressed, um, just low in life, there's a bigger chance you may get sick than when you are happy, upbeat, and joyful. For, for us Christians, I'm sure you understand that when things are happening in our life, Staying positive, staying in God, staying in His love and joyfulness will be a good thing for us. Even if hard times comes, even if uh, things are happening and you're scared, do not let fear control you. Bring everything to God. He is our healer. He is our um, protection. He is our everything everything really he is our bread of life and <clears throat> what reminded me about this truth was in the bible it says man will not live by bread alone but by the word of god so just remember this remember when things happen and you don't know what to do live by god's word that's our solution for life. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything is going good for you. Stay positive. Stay joyful. Blessings to you. God bless.